the back this week. So James has my back. He's got the, the seat belt. Obviously, we don't want to be here. First thing you need to do is deal with the, the grips, okay? Um, and, and make sure you don't get choked. So obviously the hand, they're gonna have one hand around your neck and one hand underneath your arm. The arm that's around your neck is the one that you need to, to block, okay? That's the one they can choke with. Now, make sure your grip is not, or tr really try not to get like a chin-up style grip here. So if James starts to, to choke and I, and I grip like this, it's easier for him to work through that. What I want is my, because my, my arm's working a, against it like this, but I actually want my elbow flared out holding the wrist like this. So I want to hold the wrist and I want to lock my elbow like that. Okay. Once I lock my elbow over my side and I've got the wrist here, um, it's much harder to, to work through that, that, uh, that position. Okay, So if you get like the chin up grip, it doesn't hold that well here and they potentially slip through. The only time you do the chin up style grip is if you're really late. Okay, If he's already around my neck, it's the only way I can grab it. I can't grab with my elbow flared. Okay? So if we're here, you have to peel it. Get your grip, and once you get control of that arm, like get as, as close to the wrist as you can, but still, uh, keep your hands connected. Yeah. Get as close to the wrist as you can, but still just on the arm. If you're gripping over their hand, they can always remove their hand, and then get the choke, okay? So always be on the, the wrist, and try to pull your both elbows down, get the arm as far away from the neck as possible. All right, so this, no matter which side we're on, we wanna be doing the same thing. Our first escape is gonna be when the choking arm is up. Okay, so it's uh, on, the, on the top side. We're gonna be getting that same control, pulling the arm away, and they're gonna work to escape my hips. Now, if James has hooks like he does here, hooks are good for points, but not the best type of control you can have, okay? So if he keeps the hooks there, all, all you would do is try to slip your hips free and start to get your hips out like that. If he's a little smarter though, and he keeps this foot across the hip, now it's much harder to escape my hips there. I still will, but we're gonna have to do it uh, in a more difficult way, okay? So from here, both feet are gonna come up. I'm gonna try and point my butt to the roof, uh, like uh, lift my hips as high as I can and, and point them towards the ground. So from here, I'm gonna start to go like this. I get into like a tripod and I walk my hips up like that, okay? Now you see here, this top leg has tracked my hip, so I haven't got very far. Okay, so what I want to do, normally I tell people don't use your hands to try to clear hooks because you get choked, right? That's generally a good idea. But if you have really good control with your one arm, with my left hand, it is okay to block this top leg, okay? Because he still can't get the, the choke, right? So we're going to go here, block on top of the thigh so he can't track, not here. This isn't going to help, on top of the thigh. Walk your hips up and see how my hips starting to clear the line of his leg. Now I can remove this leg, hook behind the ankle, extend, and free my right, uh, my my left leg outside the hips. Okay. So again, first thing you do, get control of the choking arm, pull it away from your neck, and don't stop until that's like fully controlled. Okay. Once we have that, I'm gonna block the the top leg. Turn my hips down and start to walk my hips nice and high. Okay. Now I'm starting to clear this, this right leg. To get this hook, it's very hard here. I have to like swing my leg back and pummel it back in. Okay. Keep that hook across. Okay. Good. So from here, I have to wiggle, hook behind the ankle, open it out, and then I take my left leg through the gap. And my hips are out of the, the back. Okay, we'll stop here for now. Practice that, and then we'll show what to do once your hips are free. Okay, three, two, one. All right, guys. Just with that, um, just saw probably the most common mistake I just saw saw there. People were were doing this and then trying to escape. Like, uh, even if I get this, like trying to see the how hard it is for me to hook the foot because my hips are facing up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it like that maybe at the best and it's still not very good okay look at the difference when my hips face the the ground okay i get a proper hook i keep it and i can get out okay. so make sure you're turning your hips down <laughs> no one on now okay so when with the first one so when we're when we're on this side we've controlled the the arm we block the leg 
we hip up, we find our angle to extend and free our hips. All right, once your hips are free, it's st you still could get your back taken if you don't do the, again, if you don't do the right thing, okay? Um, I have to make sure now that my elbow, or this, this arm, but particularly my elbow, gets in between James' legs and being able to retake my back, okay? So let, let's just give an example. If I started to bridge up, trying to turn into him, take your legs back under, and, uh, and take the back. So if I just try to turn, if you, even if you just try to turn on top, the same thing will often happen. You'll start trying to get up and turn in. Take my back, take my back, yes. Yeah, that one. <laughs> okay, uh, so what I need is my, my arm to block that. Go again. Yeah. So I want to get my arm down in the way so his legs can't go in. So if I bridge now, take my back. The legs are blocked with my, my arm being here. It has to be your elbow, not just your hand. Your hand can get like, like bring your knee through that. Like it can, yeah, you can get hands stuck behind your back. No good. So I want my elbow down to the ground, okay? So I can start to try to come on top once my elbow has taken that, that space. But and it will become an underhook as you come over, okay? So I'm going to bridge out. Turn. And that will become an underhook. Don't worry too much about where you land. You might land in... You know, like a good position like that, you might land in their guard, whatever, just if you've got the underhook, know you're, you're not going to get your back taken. Okay? So again, you've escaped, we get to here, start working this elbow down to the mat, start to bridge. Let's get some, some 